Hey, everybody. Good evening. It's Ellen Lewis at Crazy For You. Welcome. I'm happy that you're here. And I'm very excited tonight to talk to you about um, Likey Needles. So um, Likey Needles have been around for a couple of years now, and they really have gotten to be very, very popular. In the shop, we sell a bunch of them, and they are our go-to wooden needles. So I wanted to share with you tonight just a really in-depth look at both the fixed circulars and the interchangeable set. They also make double points, which we carry, and um, they make straight needles, which we also carry. So, but because it's a limited time frame, I just want to talk about the circulars, the fixed circulars and the interchangeables. So let's get right to it. All right. So um, Likey, it's, it's called Likey, L-Y-K-K-E. And it's named for the Norwegian um, word for happy, which is pronounced Lika, Likia, Likia. <laughs> um, but you know, I think that's kind of hard to pronounce. Just at the shop, we just call them Likey and everybody loves that. So that's cool. They are made in Kathmandu, Nepal, and they are made of sustainable birch. So that's really nice. I like that it's a sustainable material that they're using. Um, and while they're not handmade, they are not, um, they're not like automated. The, the machining is very hands-on um, and it takes a, a huge amount of skilled labor to actually make these. So it's, it's very cool. Um, they're skilled craftsmen and they've grown so much in terms of worldwide success and demand for the needles that it's been a huge economic driver in there in Kathmandu. And I think it's really grown the, the economy, as I said, and they have put in place a number of programs that benefit the workers and their families and the community at large. I think that is so, so cool. You know, it's it's like a fair trade kind of relationship. They're going, they're going in there and they are putting the people to work in a very constructive way and giving them, you know, a, a living wage for it. So I love that about it. So that's just a side benefit and it's just a nice to have. So, hey, Glenn, it's nice to see you. Hey, Likey, nice to see you. Glad you could join us. How fun is that? Uh, Terry, wonderful to see you. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Barbara. So you guys, a lot of you have been in the shop and have used the Likeys. Um, go ahead and tell me in the comments what you you think about them. Um, I know that what, what I hear has been extremely, extremely positive. So I'm interested in the chat. If you have a chance, go ahead and, and put in your comments and your experiences if you use them or if you have a set or an interchangeable set or whatever. So, um, so one of the things that I like about the Likey in particular is they do have a huge range. So they go from a US size zero all the way up to a new range that they have now, um, all the way up to US 50s. I think it's 1935s and 50s, and they're called Likey Bigs, and they are big. So if you've ever used a, a, a 50 millimeter, I think it's 35 millimeters. It is, it is just enormous. But sometimes you need a needle that big, you know, that with the super bulky yarn, I designed a cowl that's knit on a 50. It's crazy, but um, super fun. Hey, Ellen, it's nice to see you. So um, I love that they have a great size range and they also have a nice size range. They go down to a size, to a, um, in the fixed, they go down to a 12 inch uh, circumference. So you can go from a 40 to a 12 inch with, you know, with the length. So um, let's talk about the individual aspects of the, the tips and the shaft. I'm going to actually turn on my other camera so that I can show you them as we go through. So let me do that now. Okay. Okay. So, um, Let's just talk about the shaft, which is this main portion right here. Let me see if I can get a better width on that. Is that better? I think this is better. Okay, so um, 
these are when you have a longer when you have a longer length so this is these are 24 inch they're going to have a five inch shaft and this is actually the size zero that i mentioned maybe i'll bring this up way up here about this nope all right i guess this is better sorry about that a little technical difficulty but i'm working on it okay so um, so this is the shaft and this is the size zero. And I just want to point out to you, they are wood, but um, even so, look how flexible it is. You know, obviously, if you snap it hard enough, it will definitely break, but it's not brittle. You know what I mean? It's not, um, if you put a little bit of torque on it, it's going to, it's going to bend like that, which I love because, you know, when you're working with this size needle for socks or something else, you might end up putting some torque on it. And the last thing you want is for that super fine needle to be brittle and to snap off in your hand. Um, so let's see what our comments say. All right. Oh, Kathy won the set from the shop. Yep. Nice. So the very smooth, but the yarn is secure on the needle. Yes, absolutely, it is. Uh, Terry has the light piece. Barbara. Yeah, they are. They are. They're all the all that you said. Super lightweight breeze to knit with. What does Likey have to say? We don't recommend sitting on our needles. No, <laughs> no. Obviously, any needle that is is wooden or you know even a metal needle will bend if you put too much pressure on it. I'm simply saying that it is a little bit flexible. So you want to take care of your tools absolutely. But it is nice to know that in these smaller sizes they are a little bit flexible. Yes, Ellen. <laughs> Ellen just got the pink set. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> My favorite. We'll be talking about that later on. Um, okay. So, and this is this is one of the larger ones. So this one was a zero, and this one is a ten. Obviously, it is not flexible, and it will break if you put enough uh, pressure on it. But I think you'd have to put a considerable amount of pressure on that to uh, to break it. But yet, yeah, you could step on it, or your dog could chew it. Any number of bad things could happen to any needle. <laughs> But, um, but the shaft is really, really smooth. Um, I think they are smoother than, um, than bamboo. So I like that very much. Very, very highly polished. So very nice to knit with, very smooth. The yarn just really does glide on them. And let's take a quick look at the point. Okay, so this is the, the point close up and just for point of comparison, I have another needle here, which is the Addy Turbo. And you can see that the point on this is just about the same as the Addy Turbo, which is interesting because um, a lot of times a wooden needle doesn't have as pointy a tip as, um, as a metal one does. But but the Likey tip is, a, you know, similar in, in pointiness maybe a little sharper it's not as sharp as say here is a here is a chow gu so you can see the chow gu has a, a longer taper and a little bit of a pointier tip but not that much pointier you know like i said i think that the the likes are pointier than your addy turbo but not as pointy as a rocket or a chow gu a chow gu red lace so um but but the taper is really, really nice. The join, um, obviously these are fixed, is very smooth. Um, like I said, the finish, taper, but I'll, I'll have my notes here. I wanna make sure I don't miss anything for you. Okay, so the cable, all right. So the cable uh, is proportional in width to the size of the needle. So you can see that the cable on this US zero is much finer than the cable on the 10, all right? So that's sort of a nice thing that they've been able to do. It's, it doesn't really show up in the on the camera, but trust me that, can you see that? Yeah, it's much, much finer on the zero, which is sort of nice because if you're using a finer yarn, you know you want a finer, a finer cable. 
And if you're using a chunkier yarn, you want a little bit of a heavier cable. So, um, and the cables are, let me show you, you know, they're not kink, kinked up. You know, this is the zero. Um, and then, like I said, this is the 10. And it's, you know, as you would expect for a nylon needle that has been living in a, um, you know, in a box for, or a, a plastic, they come in a, in a package like this. It's been living in a, plas in a plastic package all curled up for a bit. But even since I opened it early this afternoon, it has relaxed quite a bit. So I have never had a problem working with um, the Likey cables. I don't find them to be kinky and annoying like some. So I'm good with it. I, I'd say that's a, that's a win in the Likey category. Let's see. Hi, Evelyn. Nice to see you. Hi, Enoch. Nice to see you. Um, so it's pretty standard cable. Um, as with any needle that has a nylon cable, you know, it's going to do that. Obviously, if it has a, a nylon coated metal cable, it's not going to do that. But in the world of, you know, standard nylon needles, I think it's a good one. It, I've never had one break. I've never had one over kink. And I've never had one break. I've never had the base of the um, needle snap off or come out of that um, join of the fixed circular, which is for me, two thumbs way up because that's huge. That's one of the things that I find most annoying about some, some wooden needles is that the, the end of it will just completely snap off. Very annoying, we don't like that, but I haven't had that happen here. So, um, that's for the fixed, as I said, they, um, they come in a huge range of lengths and sizes, and um, they also make a straight in two lengths. They make a, a 10 inch, maybe even three lengths, right? Maybe like you can um, verify on that. Um, the 12 inch, or yeah, 12 inch, 10 inch, and I think 14 inch, yeah. Um, so what else do I want to tell you? Oh, okay. So that's the fixed. They have double points, they have straights, they have circulars, and they have interchangeable. So I love interchangeable needles. If you follow me at all, you know that I have many, many sets of interchangeables. And the most exciting thing, I think, is this fabulous new pink set. So let me just show you real quick what the Likey interchangeables look like. So this is the set, right? And this is the original. So this is the um, the birch. They call this the driftwood color. So it's very kind of natural looking and very pretty. And again, the needles are smooth. I actually think these in the interchangeable set might be just a smidge sharper than the fixed. I don't know. We'd have to look at that and compare. In fact, let's do that. Let's look at that and compare. Here's a 10 from the interchangeable set. And here's the 10 fixed. Let's have a look. Okay, so here's the interchangeable set tip. And here's the fixed. I guess they're about the same. You know, obviously a smaller needle tip is going to have a pointier tip. Um, so, on we're to looking at these. All right, so this just basically, I will tell you that they have, I believe that, they come, and this is a huge range of needles that I really like in the interchangeable set. They go from a US 4 to a US 17, which is wonderful. That is a huge range for an interchangeable set. I love that. I love having everything that right there so that's great yes i'm gonna have two each of the 24 inch connect the connectors that make a 24 inch needle you have two of the 32 inch connectors and one of the 40. there are i wrote this down two connectors so you can join the cables and make an even longer cable um, four keys, so you can tighten, to tighten them, and eight stoppers. So if you want to use your, your needle tips on a different project, I can't imagine that 
anybody ever has more than one project going at a time. You know, you all just work from beginning to end on your project and never, ever, ever, ever are um, multi-projecting. But if, if you wanted to be, you could. <laughs> hey, Paula, nice to see you. Let's see, what does she have to say? Still working. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, um, I'm not gonna say that, um, that I'm gonna change your mind. I think that there are different tools for different jobs. You know, sometimes you want a stiff rubber, rubber spatula if you're cooking, and sometimes you want a metal one. You know, sometimes you want a really flexible one. Sometimes you want a wooden needle, and sometimes you want something else. You know, there's always going to be people who like this and people who like that. So I have both. <laughs> I have both. I have all of them. Right? I have all of the needles. So, and I use them all for different things. And sometimes I want a really uh, pointy tip. Sometimes I want a grippy uh, shaft. So it, it really is up to you. It's up to the project. It's up to your preference and the yarn that you're using all of that stuff. There is no, you know, no one size fits all. Okay. And in, in, not in sweaters, not in knitting needles. Okay. So um, I love them. I love them all. Okay. Back on track. Okay. So let's look at the, um, the interchangeables and the join and whatnot on that. So I'm going to demonstrate using my beautiful. All right. Okay, so here's what Likey has to say about that. Thank you guys for joining in. How nice of you to do this. Uh, yeah, we do have the individual six fix. Okay, so let me just show you real quick this fabulous thing. All right, quick question here we had from Paula. What is the difference between bamboo and wood? Okay, so gosh, bamboo is... Um, a plant. I don't know what qualifies something as wood or something as not wood. I know that trees grow with the rings and bamboo doesn't grow in quite that way. You know, it's, it's hollow. Um, I would have to defer to somebody who knew more about the specifics of bamboo versus wood, but I will tell you that bamboo needles have a bit of a striation. Uh, vertically along the shaft. Um, and I find that these, which are birch, they can be more highly polished. They're harder, okay? Correct me if I am wrong, Likey or whomever, but I believe that these birch, um, because they don't have that text, that surface texture, they can be polished more highly and then result in a smoother texture. That's my very, very unscientific, uh, limited knowledge take on it. And if somebody has a different, let's see, if somebody has a different or more, um, ooh, let's see what like he has to say. The tree-like grass. Yes, okay, but it's a grass, right? So there's your difference. What's the difference between bamboo and wood? So it's a grass, and I'm sure it has something to do with the, uh, um, botanical structure of the thing, but they're both really good. And I'll tell you, Likey makes a beautiful bamboo needle. They make the grove, which I also carry, but that's not the what's what I'm reviewing tonight. But if you love bamboo, um, I have those, and they are actually right here. These are the Likey Grove, very pretty. And maybe I'll do a review on those uh, another time. But What's nice about the um, the birch, I think, is that they found that they could dye them. So uh, I think birch is naturally a fairly light colored wood. And for this um, driftwood color, they dyed it this beautiful kind of um, cool, brown, warm gray. It's beautiful. I mean, this is a lovely set. And it comes in this beautiful suede pouch. Um, so it's very pretty, but wait till you see this. I love this. I'm so excited. 
it's pink. Isn't this beautiful? I can just see myself carrying this as a clutch someplace, you know? You go out in the evening, when we're going out in the evening again, and you have this, and somebody says, oh, what a beautiful bed. Well, I just happen to have my knitting needles handy. <laughs> so anyway, so they are beautiful. And the birch needles are dyed, some of them into that driftwood color. They also have an indigo set, which is a beautiful, brilliant blue. There is a set called umber, which is a really, really nice kind of um, warm golden brown. Um, and of course, did I mention that there was the pink? <laughs> so they are beautiful. So let's talk about the interchangeables. Um, using this pink needle because this is actually my set, my, my, my. <laughs> oh, I love these. Okay, so let me bring this camera back up. And we are talking. I have my notes. Let me get my notes here. Okay, so uh, again, everything that I said about the, um, the fixed is the same in the interchangeables. The um, the shaft is really, really smooth. The point is very nice. The join between needle and um, edge, you know, what do you call this? Not the shaft, but the, um, the holder is very smooth. Um, it's a twist, all right? So it's one of those that you twist in place. The join where the twist is, very, very smooth. It's really lovely. And there's a tiny little hole here. Can you see that little hole? So that's a hole where, as with all of the twists in needles, you can insert a little key and get a little more torque on there to tighten it down. Would totally recommend that you do that because if you get, you can get it much, much tighter. And if you happen to have one of those little rubber grippies, uh, like you would use to open a jar or just use some rubber gloves if you have, um, you can get an even tighter twist because it's sort of hard to hold on to a slippery thing with just your hands. So um, get that and then you can really tighten them down. But here's a thing that I am so excited about and I just learned it tonight um, when I was, was um, doing this kind of review before, before going live. Um, look at this. Not only does it, it swivels. Look at that. Can you see? Can you see that I am swiveling? So this, um, the cable actually swivels within the, the base of it here, which is really nice. Now we don't have that, don't have that on the fixed, okay? But you do on these um, interchangeables. So I love that, I think that's amazing. Um, it just, I think it helps your wrists a little bit when you can have that swivel. And the thing I think that's so remarkable about it is I've been using these and I didn't really notice it. So a lot of times when you do have a swivel, there's a gap in order to allow for the swivel, there's a gap between this, um, this place where it swivels and where the cable enters the, um, the connector. So I'll take these apart and you can see what I'm talking about. So this is the connector and then this is the cable. So the cable has to fit into the connector and then the connector has to fit into the needle end, right? Like that. So this little bit of rotation right here, as I said, there's usually enough of a gap there that you feel it, but I don't feel it and I'm pretty sensitive. So I didn't feel that, and I thought that was really, really cool. So yay for Likey on that. All right, <laughs> isn't that fun? All right, so we have somebody new. Hello, Sandy, nice to have you. Awesome. So um, yeah, so uh, this little, little hole right here that you use to insert the key, is also a nice place if you wanted to thread a lifeline through. So you can take um, dental floss or a really fine lace weight yarn and thread that through the little hole. And then when you're knitting along, it makes an automatic lifeline as you go, which is just a nice little hack for your needles. I really don't believe that it was put there for that purpose. I'm sure it was put there so that you can um, 
you know, tighten it down. But what a great thing, huh? Automatic, automatic uh, lifeline going on there. So the cables for the pink are, yes, they are pink. Isn't that pretty? Um, the cables for the other interchangeable sets, I think, are mostly black, which is fine. They're still beautiful, but but pink. <laughs> Can you see it? I love it. It's so exciting. Um, so anyway, and one thing I wanted to tell you guys, which I think is pretty exciting. Let me see what Evelyn has. Yes, the, the pink has a metal base. Um, they all have a... Um, yeah, the pink has a metal base, and the, the birch, yeah, the birch does not, the birch has the same, so yes, same as the grove. That's a really good question. <laughs> I think, I think like is really coming along. So the grove, I do have the grove here, and I'll just show you this real quick. Um, the grove does not have the same. So the um, the blush has the has the um, the metal. That's a really good observation, um, and a thank you. So yeah, metal. And what I want to tell you guys, and this is pretty darn exciting, if you ask me. I mean, Likey is is really. They just started, and I was like, okay, whatever. But I brought them in, and the response I said was overwhelming. So they have been constantly improving and upping their game and let me tell you something this fall they are coming out with a precious metal set oh my gosh they are called cypria c-y-p-r-i-a and i just put them on the site you can pre-order them they are made of copper oh my gosh they are so so beautiful lightweight warm to the touch and I think because they are metal, they are going to get a slightly, they can, they can machine a slightly pointier tip. And I don't know if that's why they decided to do that or they just love the idea of this, you know, precious metal. I mean, I know copper is kind of used in pipes, but we also use it in jewelry. So I definitely consider copper kind of a, a precious Luke's luxury thing. And they are beautiful. And um, you can pre-order them on the site, www.crazyforyou.com. I should put a link in the chat. I just put it on my homepage. So if you go to the homepage, it's right there. You can see them. And they come in a set from US 4 to 15. And they're in a beautiful, elegant, black suede case. Like I said, I think their cases are really pretty. Pretty enough that you would take it out for the evening as a, as a clutch bag. Um, they are beautiful. Let's see what... Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> I love you guys. All right, Jeffrey. Hey. Yes, I have heard that. I have heard that copper. My grandmother used to wear a copper bracelet on her wrist to help her with arthritis. So I'm definitely looking forward to it, um, to trying them out. I know that they're going to have a beautiful feel. I know that they're going to have a beautiful look. And, you know, you have two ways to kind of approach handling them. Everybody knows that copper is not a base metal, and it will oxidize, which means it will turn, and it will get either kind of a dark color or um, in some cases get kind of a greenish color, I think. I'm not sure what coating on this they're going to have. But I do know that um, you can either leave them natural or you can polish them up super easily with any metal polish that you would have on hand. I have metal polish. I polish all of my, my metal needles. I have some that are um, white bronze and, of course, baby polishing. So... You know, it's just like any fine piece of, of equipment or jewelry, you would want to take care of it in a way to keep it looking its best. So I love that. Um, I worry that, let's see, worry that the copper would cut possibly black in the yarn. I don't think so. Um, oh, that's a good idea. Polishing cloths. Yeah, that would be really nice with the cleanser or the uh, polish embedded in it. So if you think about, like, if you have a metal pot or something, the metal, once it oxidizes, then it's a base metal. I don't believe that it will come off on your yarn. But um, you know what? I've, I have ordered them. 
I will, I will get a set, I will use a set, I'll put it through its paces, and I will let you guys know. But I'm excited about it. And I talked to my rep, and he's um, he's a really great guy, Jay. And he's, he's not just a rep, he's like a senior yada yada at the company. And I said, look, Jay, if, if, if anything is not right with these, he goes, send them back. I said, you know, I will. <laughs> But I, you know, I really do believe in, I will believe in the company and I believe in the manufacturer. And I really, really don't think that they would put anything out that was shoddy. As um, Enix said, they're stepping up their game quite a bit. And I think they are going to be beautiful. Now, how many sets of interchangeable needles does a person need? Why do we need to put numbers on things? I really think that that's unfair. <laughs> I think we need what we need, right? We need what we need. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, Ellen, are they squared? No, they are not squared. They are a standard round, but they are beautiful. Let me see if I can't bring out the picture of, on my website. Uh, give me a minute. Saw them on my, yes, they would be a great holiday gift. And I only ordered so many. So if you want them, pre-order them now because I have an idea. They are limited edition and they are going to go fast. So let's see. Yes, here they are. And I will share this with you. All right. So Can you see that? Aren't they pretty? If you so look how pretty they are. Yeah. Very, very nice. They're lovely. And I really don't think they're that expensive. I think they are totally worth it. And look at the case. It's just this beautiful black suede. Yes because your knitting deserves precious metal. <laughs> anyway, we are at 7.30. Did anybody have any questions that I could answer for you? Let's see what's coming on the chat. Um, different needles, yes. Different needles for different yarns and projects. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's like anything. I mean, how many pairs of shoes do you have? <laughs> Maybe that's not a fair question. <laughs> Um, and someone asked how many sets of needles. Yes, exactly. Yes, it, just like I said, shoes. How many pairs of shoes? <laughs> Sometimes you buy shoes just because they're beautiful. You have to wear them a couple times and they are worth it. All right, let's see. This is so fun. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Copper is a denser metal, so they are a little heavier than aluminum. Yeah. Okay, so well, you know, we will look at them. I think that they will be cool and they will be a little heavier and I don't mind that. You know, I don't mind a tiny bit of heft in my hand. I don't like a super, super lightweight needle. I think it's a balance between, you know, something getting to be too heavy and something feeling too light. You have to have, I think you have to have enough heft that there's feedback in your hands. At least I do. And again, everybody is different. So let's see, what lengths are the tips standard or short? Okay, so um, the, the lengths of the needles on the interchangeable set, they have five inch and they have three and a half inch. Oh, that was something I was gonna show you. Sorry guys, uh, I do have a set and copper is soft and malleable. How are these hardened for durability? Why? I'm not a copper expert, but I don't think that they are soft enough that they would, um, bend in your hand, but I'll let Jeffrey answer that if he's still on this call. Okay, so here is the, the shorter set. And what I want you to notice is that these are three and a half inch, okay? So a lot of times you'll have, um, you'll have your five inch and then your short set will be a four inch tip, okay, which gets you a short enough tip that you can create a 16 inch needle. But these are shorter than that, which gives you the flexibility to, to create an even shorter needle, like um, 
maybe a, um, a 12 inch. I think that you probably could make a 12 inch with this short set. So if you are into knitting in the round in a very small circumference, like if you like 12 inch circular needles, that would be a great benefit for you with these, um, with this shorter set. So let's see what Likey says. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. Yeah, so same deal with the, um, with the copper set. So that's the information that I have for you tonight. Um, if nobody has any more questions about the Likey and the Likey interchangeable, just know that they are a beautiful wood set that comes in two separate lengths in the interchangeables and from zero to 50 in the fixed set. And we have Jeffrey back on, let's see. Unvarnished, untreated copper, not an alloy. Yeah. Well, I think that's, I think that's nice, you know. Thank you, Jeffrey. I really appreciate your, you know, researching that and jumping in here because, you know, I hate to, I hate to overstep or, you know, speak outside my, my fact base. <laughs> and I do try to be very even handed and very honest about my reviews. You know, if I don't like something, I'm going to tell you, but if I love something, I'm going to tell you that too. So um, any more questions about it? So anyway, I'm excited. I love the Likey. I love the interchangeable set. I am much more of an interchangeable girl. I would rather buy an interchangeable set than five fixed because it's not that much more money and you have so much more. It's a value thing. So um, yeah. So if you don't have an interchangeable set and you do like the wood, definitely consider the um, the Likey. I think you will like them. If you are not sure, order a fixed set and see what you think. It has a nice tip. It has a smooth finish. It has a flexible cable and it's a beautiful, um, a beautiful product to look at. So it's also really visually appealing. Um, when will they be in? Okay, well, I've heard that they will be in for the fall, which means you can probably get them around Christmas. <laughs> so definitely order them. Um, like I said, I, I ordered what I could. And when they sell out, I will be disappointed. So um, I don't want you to be disappointed. If you, if you think that you would like these, then please go ahead and order them. I do have the blush, which is a limited edition. I do have the... Um, the, the driftwood in stock. And I also have the Grove, which are beautiful. So anyway, Jeffrey says, um, we will be trying like, yes, merci de rien. Aiming for September, October. Yes, good. All right, well, good. So um, I think that's wonderful. Thanks for the demo. I have the birch set. Yes. <laughs> Well, who wouldn't want the pink set? <laughs> I mean, really, they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and, you know, I am putting together a um, kind of a little chart that looks at all of the sets that I have reviewed to date that would give you kind of a comparison. If you're interested in that, um, leave me a message. Um, in the in the text or email me at ellen at crazyforyou.com and I will email you that out when it is ready. So let me know. And in the meantime, um, keep knitting and create something beautiful with your beautiful Likey Birch Needles. We will see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.